Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hey guys, this is just, just one guy and I'm back here with another update to Project Hermes. Now in this update, I continue working on the dialogue system and I'm basically done at this point. Well, I am done. And I just added a few uh, things to make it more lively and more presentable. So I'm just going to go in game and show you now. <coughs> now the first thing I want to talk about is the camera angles. And before, I couldn't get this quite right because I use a camera orbit system. And if you ever use a camera orbit system, it's really hard to get rotations right with that because uh, the way the rotations work with quartanians and everything like that, it's just really weird to get it uh, working properly and set rotations the way you want. So I just solved that issue by using a different camera. So now if I press E, you can see my camera system that chooses random camera angles, it works better right here and it's choosing all these camera angles at random. Another thing I added was this little typewriter effect when the characters speak. So you can see right there, it's playing it out. I've also color coded the player, just uh, I mean the name, just so you can tell who's talking a little bit better in the conversation. And all of these are just quality of life issues. I also have this button right here that speeds up the line. It kind of works and kind of doesn't. Uh, the reason is because I worked with uh, coroutines and whenever you're working with coroutines in Unity and you try to speed something up, it always gets a bit weird there. So another thing I've added is uh, I've improved the choice dialogue system. So it's more like a, a Bioware system. And I'm just going to go in game and show you that right now. Let me just go out of here. So not only can you choose different uh, choices in a conversation, some of them will loop back into the way the conversation has always been, I mean, uh, always supposed to be. So it doesn't really change anything. It just gives you a better flavor for the conversation. And some options will only appear if the characters uh, uh, trigger a certain state. The one I got right now is uh, testing for anger. So just to give you a demonstration, if I say hello, he says hello user. You can see right here, the conversation plays out uh, just like normal. You can see the camera angles being chosen at random. And all these little effects, it just makes the whole system work better. Now right here you have these two options, uh, well you're an NPC and uh, hi there. Now even though you can choose the both of these and they will lead to a bit of a different conversation, at the end they'll both uh, lead to the same conclusion. So I'm just going to choose this one. And this one is the quick uh, option, it goes right to the point. The other one gives you a little bit more context uh, about what he's uh, talking about. And with this conversation, this is basically it. So hit next line. Now I've marked that conversation not to repeat, so it won't uh, let you play that conversation multiple times. But you can see if I had taken the other option, it's going to lead to the same point, more or less. I've also added this in conversation button just in case you don't feel like talking to them. You can just end that conversation at any point and move on. Now this dialogue is kind of long, but this is because I generated it using uh, AI. And so it just gave me a, a long conversation. I didn't intend for it to be this long. I just wanted to use it for testing. But since I didn't feel like coming up with a conversation myself, I came up, I used the uh, chat GPT and it gave me a really long conversation. But essentially this will lead to the same point as the other one where he tells you that he's just an AI for testing purposes and stuff like that. Now these camera angles right here in the later stages of the conversation are set directly by me. I have a little system right here 
which uh, I get the idea of the camera angle and I can either set it to be random or just choose the uh, direct to directly put it like that uh, a set camera angle right here I have two choices I didn't realize I put this in but you can see they both work and that led to the conversation that I was having before which uh, more or less comes to the same conclusion I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna show you how changing our characters emotions can actually change the uh, options that come up and so I wanted it to be more like a Bioware system where depending on what you said in the conversation whether you made the character angry or happy it would uh, different options would appear now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the character's anger you can see I have the character's brain right here and all of the emotions and let me just go in here and most of this will play out the same but now you'll have a new option based on uh, the character's emotional level So you can see the player noticed that the character was angry and now you have this new option you look upset and i just said it to say basically you uh you look upset yes i'm very upset i have emotions just like a person and that would just lead you back to the same conversation now another thing i improved was uh let me just go to m the way abilities work in a conversation and I just, uh, I didn't change the way it worked. I just uh, gave it a little more flavor. Let's see, manipulate joy, unlock. Another thing I want to note was I put little animations in. So now the characters, uh, when they're talking, it looks a bit better. Especially with the, with the zoomed out angles, it just looks a lot better like that. Now you can see I have a uh, mental joy, which is to manipulate uh, the character's joy. And so first I have this little icon here, so you can see it a little bit better. And secondly, I have the tooltip that now tells you exactly what the ability does. It just gives you a little bit more information on it before you press it. And when you press it, you have a little animation so you can know exactly what the uh, characters, uh, that it worked on a character. And of course, this menu right here gives you a readout of the character's emotions. So that's what I've been working on this past week. And altogether, I think the changes made the system a lot better because I wanted it to be just as robust as the combat system. And so all those little changes right there, I think it makes it a lot better. The next thing I have to do is make it so you can add stats onto the uh, conversational abilities. Anyway. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.